Civil War has become a powerful item of public memory. In the immediate aftermath of the Civil War, a lot of people were starting to wonder, debating, what did, the, what did it mean to be a Confederate? Because of the loss that the Confederate States suffered, the troubling period of Reconstruction, by the 1870s, late 1870s here in Macon, various organizations started to put up monuments, like the monument here to Confederate veterans. These monuments commemorated to the members of society, white Southerners effectively, the heroism of their ancestors, of their family members. But at the same time, in the context of when they are being placed, at the end of Reconstruction, at the time that the United States is moving into a period of segregation, Jim Crow laws, it also represented the segregated racist white South. Today we often debate whether these monuments should be removed, should stay in place. What do they remember? What do the heritage of white Southerners mean for wider society? While a monument like this certainly has a large persona for white Southerners, it also is a historic monument that oftentimes is better suited for a museum, contextualizing the period of its creation rather than the context of the Civil War years. After all, it is the White South, and it is a time when this monument is being created that Macon sees one of its first lynchings. It is in the 19th when Macon sees another two lynchings. It is, just like in many other southern places, a conflict over the heritage of white and black southerners with the White South again and again imposing its views on the rest of society.